Joining me now, possibly the most controversial woman in America right now. She had the audacity as a black actress to vote for Mitt Romney. Can you believe that? She actually said on Twitter, I want you to vote for Mitt Romney. Now, you may remember Stacey Dash from the 90s hit Clueless. She's never been known particularly for her politics, but she is now. And it's all because of one tweet. Stacey, welcome. Thank you. This is your first, and you say only, television interview. This is it. <laughs> so I feel very honoured. Uh, I've got to say, when I read about this, I felt offended for you. I, I don't have a horse in this race. I'm British. I can't vote for anybody. Um, but the idea that you as a black actress would come under such venomous attack mm. purely because you decided you wanted to vote for one of the two candidates, I think is extremely objectionable. How have you dealt with the fallout from all this? Well, you know, people are going to have their own, own opinion, and that's the point. We're all entitled to our opinion, and I used my platform to exercise my First Amendment right as an American citizen to say who I am choosing to vote for. And the interesting thing to me is you, you voted for Barack Obama at the last yes, election. Yes, I did. So you were a Democrat then. Yes. Why have you decided to change to Mitt Romney? I would say because of the state of the country. Mm -hmm. And I want the next four years to be different. And I believe him. You know, he, I've watched him for a while. And then when I watched him, the governor and his wife on Meet the Press mm -hmm. with David Gregory, I, you know, they spoke to me, and they seemed authentic and genuine in what they said about this country and the need for us to be united and move forward and, you know, <laughs> really bring up our economy, make money. I mean, the extraordinary thing is that the tweet you put out under at Real Stacey Dash, and your follower count's gone up, I think by nearly 30,000, so congratulations. Yeah, but yeah. you said vote for Ron, the only choice for your future. Hardly the most scandalous thing ever. Let me ask you this. Do you think it's purely because you are a famous black woman, or is it because you are an actress and there aren't many actresses, full stop, who are Republicans? What do you think has been the predominant factor in the fury? You know, in the I really don't understand the fury. I don't understand it. I don't get it. Were you shocked? Were you sad? Uh, yes. Were you angry? Uh, shocked, sad, not angry. Saddened and shocked. Really shocked. But you know what? You can't expect everyone to agree with you. These you people here, this is uh, somebody who tweeted, you're an unemployed black woman endorsing Mitt Romney. You're voting against yourself thrice, you uh, poor, beautiful idiot. <laughs> And, and somebody else just put, kill yourself, you old hag. Wow, really? I mean, really disgusting. That is. That's Tweets. pretty harsh. You say you don't feel angry, but what do you feel? I mean, do you feel offended by this? I don't feel offended because, I mean, come on, you know? You're stupid. Just come on, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel offended. I just feel that, you know, as a country, this is my choice. This is the man this I want to leave my right. country. This is a democratic right. I mean, it, I mean the, it, I suppose the it real... It is my right as an American citizen. It's my constitutional right to have my choice of yes. who I want to vote for but for president. And I think very strongly you should yes. be allowed to have it. And I chose him, not by the color of his skin, hmm. but the content of his character. Have you heard from Mitt Romney at all? Yes. Well, not Mitt Romney. Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan rang you today. Yes, he did. What did he say? He said, thank you so much for your support and that I was brave and that they support me. And I thought that was just so generous and kind, you know, lovely, really. Have they, any of the Obama campaign been on? No, they haven't. <laughs> what does it say to you about the state of the political discourse and debate in America that one innocuous tweet from you, purely because you're an actress and the color of your skin, sparked this kind of mayhem? I think it tells me that our state, our, the, the state of our country is that we are not united, mm -hmm. you know? We need to be united. And we all need to understand that we are all capable of achieving the American dream. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but that has to be something that is self-realized. And also to demonize someone for achieving the American dream is unfair. I'm told that you have a 22-year-old son, yes, which I, I find do. very hard to believe, yes. uh, but you do, apparently, uh, who wasn't that happy either with your political no. choice. <laughs> he's not. So he's an Obama man, is he's he? An Obama, yeah, he's an Obama man, and that's fine. You know, I love him for it. I love the fact that he's involved, mm. that he cares, that he's 22, and, you know, he has...
a point of view about his country. That's important. Interestingly, the polls are moving to Mitt Romney quite yeah. fast since his debate performance, but particularly with women. Yeah. A lot of women. Um, and they can't all be white women. I don't believe. I mean, although some polls say there's zero black vote, you are living I proof that's that that's true. not true. <laughs> um, and other polls say 3% or whatever. But clearly there is a movement towards Mitt Romney. Clearly other black women will be voting for him. Yes. What is your message to those out there who just feel they can't, that because there's a black president, they feel a duty, perhaps a sense of loyalty to him because of the color of his skin to vote for him? What do I say to them? I say, do your homework. Look at your country. Think about the next four years of your life, you know. And also look at, look at Mitt Romney's track record. You know, as a CEO, he's excelled. As the governor of Massachusetts, he did quite well. And, you know, listen to what he says. You know, I believe him. And I believe he deserves a shot. Well, whether people agree with you or not, I absolutely defend your right to vote for who the hell you like. Thank you. The idiots tweeting you are, to coin a phrase, clueless. Oh, dear. Stacey Dash, it's been a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much, Pierre. You keep battling your own corner.